I'm going to show you the absolute best way to structure a high converting landing page that is perfect for converting traffic into customers and works every single time. If you're running ads for your business, I guarantee that after this video, you'll be racing to your website to implement this structure right away. So what are we waiting for? Let's get straight to it. First of all, it's important to know what the purpose of a landing page is. To put it simply, a landing page is used to direct users from ads, a newsletter, or a social media post to a page with the sole purpose of conversion. This is the place where customers click, people buy, and you earn money. So it's important that you get this right. Make sure you set a clear objective and create landing pages that are specific to this. Don't try and put all your services and products into one page. It will confuse the user and lead to a much lower conversion rate. Once you have your objective, it's time to get into the structure of your landing page. And it all starts with the fold of the page. By this, I'm referring to the visible part of the page when it loads. Obviously, this will be different depending on the device. And it's important that you check both on mobile and desktop, but especially mobile. There are three main areas for the fold. The first is the title and subtitle. The second is the image or video displayed. And the third is the click to call action or CTA. All three areas have to align and easily reinforce to the user that the page message is what you want them to do. First of all, you need a killer headline. A headline is where everything begins. Interest, attention, and understanding. It's what compels a visitor to stay and learn more about what you're offering. Or not, here's what it needs to accomplish. The headline should grab the reader's attention. The headline should tell the reader what the product or service is all about. The headline should be short and no more than 20 words, but ideally limit it to 10. If the user scrolls further down the page, I've given them a clear overview of what the page is about, which increases intent to take action. In order to create an effective landing page, you need a persuasive headline. If the headline makes a visitor look, then the subheadline should make them stay. Together, these pieces of copy make up the one-two punch of a landing page's power. Normally, the subheadline should be directly underneath the main headline. The subheadline should have some element of persuasion. I can go into slightly more depth and detail than the main headline. If you look at this example from Utility Warehouse, they perfectly demonstrate this and entice you to want to continue and read more. The next step is a striking image or video. Visual content is an essential component of a landing page that work. In fact, the brain processes images 60,000 times faster than text. This means that visitors will be affected by images on your landing page immediately. So as you select and place your images, remember that the pictures should be large and relevant to your product or service. If you're selling a physical product, it's essential that your landing page contains an image of the product. If you're selling a service, the primary purpose of the image should be to grab attention and demonstrate relevance to the visitor. The pictures need to be high quality and try to avoid stock photographs or last minute Photoshop jobs. Finally, we need a juicy CTA. This is the most important part. After all, this is the element that the rest of the content on your page is designed to drive visitors' attention to. It's what ultimately converts visitors into customers. So with that in mind, here's a few CTA must-haves. Make it big and bold. You should stand out so much you can't miss the thing. Make the text compelling. Don't just use the word submit. Instead, use something explosive, exciting or persuasive. Use a button, ideally with a contrasting colour. Contrasting colours help to attract the eye and compel a click. An example of this is from Marshmallow. Using a contrasting colour and compelling text to entice the user to click. Next, we want to build trust. There are so many ways to build trust and I recommend you use them all. Why? Because you can. And the more you give the user, the more they will buy into your company. First, we start with social proof, which is the number of likes, shares, or subscribers your company has. We do this because according to HubSpot, 71% of millennials are more likely to purchase something if they have been recommended online. Social media and recommendations play a huge part in purchasing decisions. Showing potential customers that you have a big fan base will help you win them over. For example, you could use a tagline like join our 20,000 customers and get our weekly newsletter. Next are some well-placed testimonials from current customers who are most relevant to your target audience. Make sure you use pictures if you can. 
It's important that every featured testimonial is accompanied by a photo of a real person. Finally, if you're working with known companies, shout about them. People trust in brands. So if you're working with some known brands, they wanna know about it. It's important that you be loud and proud about this. A great example of this is on the Box website. They include the testimonials count straight under the CTA. They then go straight into their partners, which helps build trust before you even got into the content of the page. Next, use a video. A sales pitch video doesn't have to be long and involved. In fact, the best performing videos run between 30 seconds and two minutes long. It should grab people's attention immediately. Describe everything in logical order and contain the same elements as the landing page itself. A headline, a subheadline, an explanation, bold imagery, something about pain and pleasure, a method of contact, a guarantee, and a powerful call to action. Next, we have a guarantee. Customers absolutely love a guarantee, regardless of what it is or how it's presented. This can help people feel reassured while on your landing page. Simply the word itself improves the likelihood of conversion. Here's what to keep in mind. As you create one of your landing pages, guarantees can take many forms. Choose a typical guarantee that works for your business type and state this guarantee on your landing page. You could use something as a 100% satisfaction guarantee, for example. Just make sure that you position your guarantee statement close to the CTA. This closeness will help the potential customer receive a final bit of reassurance before they're ready to convert. Some of the most persuasive landing pages I've visited have multiple methods of contact, including a phone number, a physical address, and an email address, as well as a contact form. These go a long way to help strengthen the trust with the company. Here's what to keep in mind though as you add the contact information to your landing page. At the most basic level, they provide assurance that you're a real company. Usually, this involves a physical address or a contact phone number. Live chats are also a really good way to do this, as they provide potential customers with a sense that they are talking to a real person. Finally, remove all elements. You want to ensure that you hide your header and footer on all landing pages. A landing page should give the user all the information they need to take action. Your conversion rate will massively decrease the moment that they leave this page. So hiding the navigation, the header and the footer will stop them from leaving the page. Best landing page designs keep all of the elements onto one page. All of your elements should follow a logical flow to keep your visitors moving towards the CTA and ultimately completing your goal you've set out for them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure you check out one of my other videos here.